The USS Gerald R. Ford is a majestic leviathan that stands as the most advanced aircraft carrier on active duty, heralding a new era in naval warfare. But what sets this vessel apart from its predecessors? How does it redefine the capabilities of a modern aircraft carrier? As we navigate through the intricacies of the USS Gerald R. Ford, we'll uncover the secrets behind its cutting-edge technology and unrivaled power. Join us in this video to explore how this ship is not merely a symbol of naval strength, but a floating city equipped to face the challenges of 21st century warfare and beyond. The USS Gerald R. Ford represents a remarkable leap in aircraft carrier design setting a new benchmark in terms of size and capabilities, with a full load displacement of approximately 100,000 tons and an overall length of 1,106 feet. The USS Ford surpasses the Nimitz-class carriers, which were previously considered the epitome of naval engineering. This behemoth is longer than three football fields. The USS Ford is a floating city, covering four and a half acres of sovereign U.S. territory and housing over 4,500 personnel, including crew and air staff. The ship's spacious deck and internal volume can carry more than 75 aircraft, including a diverse mix of fighter jets, helicopters, and other support aircraft. This capacity significantly exceeds that of many other carriers, further solidifying the USS Ford's status as a supercarrier. The air power aboard the USS Ford is a testament to its formidable capabilities. It primarily supports the F-35 Lightning II, the latest in stealth fighter technology, and the F-18 Super Hornet, a versatile and powerful strike fighter. Additionally, the carrier can accommodate the E-2 Advanced Hawkeye, an airborne early warning aircraft, and the C-2 Greyhound, which is vital for logistical support. This strategic mix of aircraft ensures the carrier's ability to project power, provide defense, and perform a wide array of missions, underscoring its role as a cornerstone of U.S. naval power and a pivotal asset in modern warfare. The USS Ford is equipped with state-of-the-art defense systems. Central to the carrier's defense is the Aegis Combat System, an advanced naval weapon system that uses powerful computers and radars to track and guide weapons to destroy enemy targets. This missile defense system is renowned for its ability to engage both high-performance aircraft and sea-skimming missiles. In addition to the Aegis system, the USS Ford is equipped with Sea Sparrow missiles, a short to medium-range missile designed to counter supersonic anti-ship missiles. The ship also boasts the rolling airframe missile system for close-in defense, a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile that is effective against anti-ship cruise missiles. The ship's phalanx close-in weapon system is the last line of defense against incoming threats. This rapid-fire, computer-controlled radar and 20mm Gatling gun system automatically detects, tracks, and engages enemy threats providing crucial protection against closer-range targets. These defensive armaments are integrated into a cohesive network, allowing for a layered defense strategy. Each system complements the others, ensuring the carrier is well protected from threats at varying ranges and altitudes. This integrated defense approach ensures the USS Ford's survivability in hostile environments. It safeguards the thousands of crew members and the air wing aboard, solidifying its role as a formidable asset in the U.S. Navy's arsenal. Its advanced nuclear power plant lies at the heart of the USS Ford's formidable capabilities. The Ford-class carriers are powered by two A-1B nuclear reactors, each capable of producing significantly more power than the A-4W reactors used in the Nimitz-class carriers. This increase in power output is a critical aspect of the USS Ford's design, as it provides the energy needed to support the ship's advanced systems and future technological upgrades. The working principle of these reactors is based on nuclear fission, where atomic nuclei are split to release a tremendous amount of energy. This energy is used to heat water and create steam, which in turn drives the turbines that produce electricity and propel the ship. The closed-loop system ensures that the reactor's operations are efficient and secure, with multiple safety measures to protect the crew and environment. Additionally, the increased power output supports the high energy demands of modern systems, 
such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and the advanced arresting gear. The provision of ample power also means more room for future technological integrations, ensuring the carrier remains at the forefront of naval combat readiness. A key feature distinguishing the USS Ford from its predecessors is its implementation of revolutionary aircraft launch and recovery technologies, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and the advanced arresting gear. These systems represent a significant technological leap forward, enhancing the carrier's operational capabilities and efficiency. Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, a replacement for the traditional steam catapult, uses electromagnetic technology to launch aircraft from the deck of the carrier. This system offers a more controlled and smooth acceleration, reducing the stress on the airframes and enabling the launch of a wider range of aircraft, from heavy fighter jets to lighter weight unmanned drones. This system is highly adaptable, allowing for precise control of the catapult's power, which is essential for accommodating different aircraft's varying weights and configurations. Complementing the launch system is the Advanced Arresting Gear System. AAG utilizes advanced technology that employs energy-absorbing water turbines and an advanced arresting cable system to recover aircraft safely and effectively as they land. This system accommodates a broader range of aircraft, providing higher reliability and safety. AAG's fine-tuned control also reduces the wear and tear on both the aircraft and the ship, enhancing the longevity of the carrier's equipment. Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System and AAG are significant advancements in naval aviation technology. They increase the operational flexibility of the USS Ford and ensure that the carrier can adapt to future aircraft and technologies. The USS Ford's general mission profile involves force projection, a crucial aspect of maritime dominance. It has been actively involved in various operations to support maritime stability and security. For instance, in May 2021, the USS Ford conducted ready-for-operations exercises with the Italian Navy while transiting the Atlantic Ocean. By September 2022, it had reached its initial operating capability, signifying its full integration into naval operations. The carrier has also participated in task force exercises alongside NATO allies and partners throughout the Atlantic Ocean. These exercises involve a broad array of operations and training exercises, demonstrating the carrier's capability to operate in concert with other naval forces. The carrier strike group includes diverse support vessels, highlighting its role as a central component of larger naval formations. In 2023, the USS Ford embarked on its first full-length deployment, operating in the 2nd and 6th Fleet's area of responsibility. This deployment included participation in NATO exercises near Oslo, Norway, and naval drills in the Arctic showcasing the carrier's ability to operate in diverse geographical and climate conditions. Later in the year, it sailed to the Mediterranean for additional exercises and showcase of force, underscoring its flexibility and readiness to respond to various global challenges. The USS Ford has significantly improved the quality of life for its crew through various amenities and facilities. The carrier boasts smaller berthings, a departure from Nimitz-class carrier's larger 180-man berthings, thereby reducing noise and distractions. The mess decks are thoughtfully designed, with a hub-and-spoke layout to facilitate smoother and faster meal services, emphasizing healthier food choices by eliminating deep-fat fryers. For recreation, the ship is equipped with three large gyms, the first of its class to be specifically designed with gym facilities, featuring state-of-the-art equipment for diverse fitness needs. The lounges have been extensively upgraded, strategically located to minimize disturbance to sleeping quarters, and are equipped with amenities like flat-screen TVs, comfortable seating, and Wi-Fi connectivity. The ship's engineering spaces are notably cooler due to enhanced air conditioning and the elimination of steam piping, making these work areas more comfortable for the crew. Additionally, the USS Ford is designed with flexibility in mind, featuring 19 do-it-yourself bays that can be transformed into various spaces such as offices, medical wards, or humanitarian staging areas with minimal effort. This adaptability is crucial for responding to diverse operational requirements.
as we've explored the USS Gerald R. Ford's formidable capabilities and innovative design, we're left pondering, what future challenges will this colossal ship hold? In the dynamic realm of maritime dominance, how will the USS Gerald R. Ford shape and adapt to the evolving demands of global security and technological advancements on the high seas? Thank you very much for joining us for this video. See you next time on Fierce, Fire, and Fury.